Good morning, collective. This is your girl, the spiritual assassin, coming back with uh, messages back on the ones and twos. This is the Cognitive Queen channel. Welcome, guys, to my home. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I do have some messages that Source wants me to deliver to you guys. I will be reading from the Wisdom Oracle deck. Okay, guys, they want me to read from this book um, to give you guys a more under a clearer understanding and also... Uh, they want me to um, intuitively uh, give you messages from this deck as well to help you along your path. And to get started, let's go ahead and start with serendipity. 18 breaking down to 9. So you guys could be ending a cycle here. You could be coming across some type of luck, some type of um, great fortune here, some type of leap of faith here. Uh, and it's going to propel you to move forward to whatever endeavor that you're going towards. Let's get some more messages. Yes, you have a deep knowing about something here. And not for you. Something is not for you. And truth be told, something is about to be told here. And you have a new life that's coming towards you. So we're going to stop right there and we're going to go ahead and get these messages out for you guys. New life. Somebody is going towards a new life. You are being divinely guided. 39 breaking down to 12, 12 breaking down to 3. Yes, you are div being divinely guided. Your ancestors are guiding you to this new uh, new life that you're going towards. Uh, this is going to be happening here and now. So something is about to pick take off fast for you. 32 breaking down to 5. So, yeah, this is going to be rapid change because you're leaving the past and you're going towards your future. Yes, you could be a thinker. You could be a life path number 44. I mean, a master healer, 44, I'm sorry. You could be a life path number 8. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap into these messages. I think that's it. Just breathe and relax. Okay. And you've been putting in that work. But remember to meditate confirmation and you have twin flame energy here and you're walking away from uh, any uh, thing that no longer serves you you're no longer looking at the past and you're moving forward yes towards your new life okay so let's go ahead and look into serendipity what does that mean for you I hope you guys are having a great day, a marvelous day. It's beautiful outside. I'm getting positive energy. I'm feeling light and uh, just creative and just, you know, just walking past what no longer serve us. Yeah, it's time for a new beginning and new ways of doing things and getting things accomplished. So I feel like that a lot of you guys could be going through a new uh, re restart, a new fresh start, a new... Uh, ways of uh, uh, achieving your accomplishments is what I'm picking up. Confirmation. <laughs> 68. So I have serendipity. Essential message. Opportunity. Allied with readiness. The awareness of synchronicity. Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols. A magical alignment of events. The Oracle message. You're, you've stepped into alignment with the greater good where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is a time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune 
Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. Wonderful energy. You guys are some made rebels out here, some made lead leaders out here. And you're about to come, get, come across this great fortune. And you're going to be able to take care of your family and the community that's around you. And uh, if you have a business, fund your business, guys. So you're about to get this uh, serendipitous moment here. This is beautiful energy. And it says relationship message. Spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. Someone Spirit wants to bring into your life. Only, only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs Spirit presents. I want to read that one more time. Relationship message. Spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. Someone Spirit wants to bring into someone Spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So you guys about, could possibly about to meet someone. This is something that you have no control over, that you have no idea who this is. Something that's being divinely orchestrated here, guys, is what I'm picking up. Uh, the next message I have is prosperity message. You are in the right place at the right time. Be grateful for the stars are in line in your favor and fortune is smiling on you. Victory and success are yours. The choices you have made in the past have prepared you for the opportunities now before you. This is your lucky moment. The timing is perfect. So maybe that you're about to meet somebody um, that's pertaining to your business, a relationship, or some type of partnership. Someone is going to help you along this journey to help you prosper here. And God is uh, the spirit world. The universal energies are lining you up to prospects that's going to help you along your journey. Whether if it's a lover or if it's uh, someone uh, that's dealing with you in a business aspect. You will be receiving help here. Uh, and you will, this, you will be victorious with whatever options you go towards, guys. Whatever way that you go far as in, as long as you are being divinely guided and listening to your spirit guides and going along the proper instructions you need to, you will be successful with this meeting, this person, this contractual agreement that you're going to have with someone. Uh, because, you, yeah, and you are meant, whatever this is, whatever this money is or whatever this um, new life, whatever this new uh, award is for you, whatever this uh payment is for you or whatever this good fortune uh this luck is that is that is going to be for you you're going to be fruitful enough to share them uh, towards your family and your community so that's very beautiful confirmation all right so the next message i have is protection message perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better it was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to supposed to be the one. Yet it fell apart. Consider this. Sometimes synchronicities and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn. Before you hit the jackpot, don't get caught up in the drama or disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. 
So because you didn't see it before or because you didn't receive the serendipitous uh, moment before, but it was for a reason, you wasn't in the line. The situation you was in wasn't in a line. And God wanted to put you in a situation to where you are able to um, focus on uh, this moment, moment, this moment, <laughs> I'm sorry, this moment to where you can enjoy the benefits that, that God is going to give you and didn't want anybody else that was going to drain from you or drag from you or take from you. So God had to make, move you away from certain people so you can enjoy this uh, great benefit that you're going to receive. Okay, so if, so because you listen to God and because you chose to go another direction, you are being blessed with this fortune. This generational wealth here is what I'm picking up. Great job, guys. So we're going to go ahead and move to the next energy, which is deep knowing, guys. And that's 43. Breaking down to a seven. You could be a life, to, life path number seven I'm talking to. So let's get to deep knowing. What I'm looking at the card so far, you are wise as the owl. You could be very mystic, very um, intellectual here. You could be very in tune with the spirit guides. Um, you can know secrets here. You could be connected to Luna. Your spirit guides are, are guiding you. You are connected with the stars here. As you can see the, in the background, the stars in the background. So, yeah. I feel like that you're in contentment, that you are happy about the things that you know about. You are being, this, the universe is radiating upon you right now. They're showering you with love and contentment and peace and um, understanding and understanding. You're just getting, a, you're getting loved by the universe, I feel like. And they're shedding light on you is what I'm picking up. Confirmation. So let's go and see what deep, deep knowing means in the book. And guys, forgive me for my voice. It is still kind of cracky right now. <laughs> Cause it's still my throat chakra is still healing, but you know, we're going to still get these messages out deep knowing page 162. All right. This, this is what we have for deep knowing, deep knowing essential is essential meanings, intuition, listening to the Oracle within empathy, hypersensitivity, the oracle message. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with the source, the consciousness that you are part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you, oh, sorry, this deep knowing allows, allows you open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experiences. You're, you're giving information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to often, the trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You are now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your, trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers for unusual sources. So what I'm picking up with that message so far that you guys are very intuitive here. You guys are connecting with your angels, your ancestors, the most high in all spiritual elements. Some of you guys are connecting either with star seed, with other star seed systems here. I feel like some of you guys are um, tuning in into the gifts that you have and are starting to listen to your, um, your spirit guides by quieting your mind down and getting to know them more personally is what I'm picking up. Uh, you understand, uh, uh, you know how to discern the spirit and you are, you are understanding the instructions that your guys are trying to give you. And the one way you know how to do that is by uh, 
at being at a calm state and going within and listening and quieting yourself because they are around you and they are guiding you with these messages. And if you haven't, uh, remember to get into your meditative state. The more you meditate, the more you calm and quiet your mind down, the more you can connect with your spirit guides. Uh, ask for divine guidance, pray, and ask them to show you the way and they will show you the way, okay? All you have to do is ask. Relationship message. Message. <clears throat> There are occasions when you just know deep in your heart and soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched indebitably onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now, to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. So you have, I feel like that you have a loved one that's coming back into your life. Maybe you guys were apart and um, maybe this person, the divine is bringing you guys back together, um, for a particular reason, um, to complete this journey. You guys could be soulmates or twin flame energies, but you guys have a strong magnetic pull towards each other. You guys will be uniting. I feel like this is your twin flame. I did pull twin out the deck earlier. Well, when I split the deck, so you could possibly have, be possibly reconnecting with a twin flame or soulmate. So that may be significant for some of you guys. Let's continue to read prosperity message. This is a time when your when your hunches will pay large dividends if you listen to them. Take the risk and act within you. There isn't hold up. This is a time when your hunches will pay large dividends if you listen to them. Take the risk and act within you. There is an oracular oracular consciousness, a higher and deeper knowing that transcends the machinations of the smaller thinking mind. Yeah, machinations, I guess, guys. But anyway, we're going to continue reading of the smaller thinking mind. At the deep level of your intuitive senses, you have an access point to the genius of the collective. The energies of all thinkers and creators, all inventors and leaders, and all that you need in order to leap into success are available. So tune into this is an act of listening intensely past and busy mind, past the busy mind. Your genius, genius awaits. So whoever I'm talking to, you are a genius. You have the ability to capitalize off of your ideas, your creativity, um, you can you can actually get paid large major dividends for your ideas here. Uh, just continue to uh, dig deep within uh, the knowledge that you are safe in, uh, that you know in, and use it to the the best of your ability with the passion, uh, with the ability to um, persevere and be successful in the things that you're gonna do out here. Because you have something great that's inside of you. You are a creator. You are a leader. You are an inventor. You are an engineer and you're going to be successful. Whatever that you're building, whatever that you're uh, molding, whatever that you're birthing is going to be, is going to bring serendipitous a moment to you. It's going to be intuitively guided for you to do, uh, deliver, to deliver this service towards people or to yourself or to your community. Yes. So continue to thrive in th this energy to bring this fruitation to bring this baby alive, whether if it's a, a baby baby or if it's a baby of a business. Okay, guys. So let's continue with the messages. Protection message. You are an empathy. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, guys. You are in empathy overload and need to be grounded again. So tune out for a bit. Hypersensitive. You're suffering from psychic exhaustion. These signals this signals a time for recharging of your batteries. Set energetic boundaries. Take a salt bath. Empty your mind and get back to you. It's not a time to it's it's not a time to be too open. 
Soon enough, you can let your guard down. Right now, you need to self-care and self-love. It's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. Won't that feel good? And yes, it will. So this is time for you to get rid of anybody that doesn't, um, what I want to say, um, bring any good uh, results to you or that no longer serves you. You don't want to have these people around. If they're going to drain your energy, it's time to cut them off. If they're not positive, it's time to cut them off. If they're not giving to the cause, it's time to cut them off. If they about drama, it's time to cut them off. We don't have time for uh, nonsense. This is not a time to uh, baby anyone. Everyone needs to pick themselves up by their bootstraps and become uh, the leader for each of their own communities. And that's what I'm picking up. In order to do that, you have to cut off certain en energies and set up certain boundaries, certain boundaries so you can set yourself up to be successful all right guys so i hope that message uh was uh, brought clarity for someone's situation the next energy i have is not for you and you could be a life path number six so let's go ahead and get to that message page 20 not for you Essential meanings, a clear knowing that something is being denied, is being denied you. I don't like how they word these words in this book, so I'm going to read it one more time. I just don't like how they got it. Okay, let's see. Let's read it again. A clear knowing that something is being denied you. So we're going to say, this is a clear knowing that something could be denied. You could be getting denied or something is about to be denied in someone's life is what I'm picking up. It says rejection is God's protection. So rejection is God's protection, most definitely. And it says the Oracle message. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. As as it's as if you doesn't really get really don't get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now, that indeed your dreams for the exact thing will not be fulfilled. This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better that will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this. So basically, what if something has been denied to you, from you, then that means that God said it wasn't for you and God took it out your life for a reason. So this thing, person, or idea was not for you and it had to be removed or you need to remove it from your cycle. Either way it go, God will protect you from this energy that's trying to uh, keep you stuck in a denial state, okay? And relationship message. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them. That is obvious from the beginning, but the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you are being protected, protected by the divine. If you are the one, you must reject another. Remember that you do so for both your sakes. For every pot, there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. So some of you guys could, could be going through a breakup in a relationship. A business could be ending. A uh, contractual in, uh, relationship, relationship could be ending. Or like I said, a business relationship could be ending. And remember, it was it was it ended for a good reason. Source had to come in and um, intervene and divine um, this particular um, um, tower moment right here. I feel like it was a tower moment. Had to clarify some things and remove some things that was not meant to go along with you on your journey is what I'm picking up. So let's get to the next message and it's prosperity message. And it reads, you can strategize and project 
and, and systemize and invest all your time and energy. But sometimes your best best laid plans seem to go awry in spite of it all. Keep in mind that no effort is wasted. Fail fast and learn from defeat, then keep going. You will eventually succeed, although perhaps not at this game, not at this time. Know when to fold your cards. So, you know a situation is over with. The, a business uh, could be over with. Your Oshine energy is here. She's here guiding me with these messages. So, a business has fell apart. A partnership has fell apart. A business has fell apart. You have put in a lot of pl uh, late plans, a lot of money, a lot of investment. But you had to learn from these mistakes. You know not to make these mistakes again uh, towards whatever that you was going towards. But it's never too late to plan, plot, strategize for your next move is what I'm picking up. Your next move will be your best move is what I'm picking up. 1114 on the screen. You may want to look up that message, that angel number, angel number to see what it means to you. So let's get to the um, bottom part of this message. Protection message. Don't chase after what flees from you. So don't chase after something that don't, that no longer serves you. Don't chase after something that's running away from you. You don't do that. We don't do that, okay? Yes. Don't obsess over what eludes you. Don't bang your head against the wall. There is nothing romantic about what is un unavailable. No prize given for torturing yourself and nothing to be gained by refusing to see the red flags that have been waving since you begun your pursuit. Now is the time to walk away. There are other goals, other lovers, other games, other success waiting waiting for you. The, the way out of obsessing is radical acceptance and surrender. Spirit wants only the best for you. This is a sign that you have something much better waiting for you. Trust. So Spirit is saying, walk away from this situation. This person don't want you. And you need to stop chasing after this person. If you're chasing after this person, stop obsessing over this person. There's something out here better for you, waiting for you. If you choose to move on past this situation, let go of control. Stop trying to control the situation and follow divine, divine guidance. If so it's telling you to move, then you need to move so you can start to reap the, these so you can reap the benefits of the blessings that's waiting for you on the other side. But if you try, stand in a situation that no longer serves you, you're going to continue to go, repeat a karmic cycle and you're going to have a hard time accepting uh, the changes that's in your life. They won't come if you keep repeating an old cycle over and over again with this person that's not for you or an idea or a business that's not for you. Confirmation, don't itch. Uh, maybe somebody is scared to speak up here, but somebody needs to speak their mind, speak up on how they really feel. The next card I have is that could be for somebody. Okay. The next energy I have is um, truth be told here. So some truth could be told. It's time to let your song out. Let your um, voice be heard. It's time to open up your soul and express who you really are. It's what I'm picking up. Let the world know who you are. Let sky is past the limits. You know what I'm saying? You could be seeing an owl as a spiritual animal here. Maybe the truth is about to be told about somebody who is wearing a mask in this relationship. But you're going to be free from whatever this secret is that you that may be uh, held in. Maybe you're freeing yourself here. Okay? I got 14 breaking down to a 5. So I could be talking to a life path number 5. And I also see this as change is coming here. You're Yeah, because you're going to a new life here. So let's go ahead and pull... Um, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and read these messages for Truth Be Told. 53. So Truth Be Told, Essential Meanings, Honesty, Accepting Things at Face Value, Coming Out of Denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication, oracle message. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing. And then there is a truth subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or, or believer. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud 
and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and within yourself. None, nothing less than surrender to what is peeling off the layers of the denial that keeps you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously, glorious, 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 gloriously, I'm sorry, y'all. Flawed. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles. It's time to take the mask off, shed out the old you and step into your power on the authentic you guys. Yeah. Take that mask off and sing your song. It's what I'm picking up. Let's go. Relationship message. People tell you who they are very quickly. If you're willing to listen to what they are saying and pay attention to how they behave, this card tells you to engage in heartfelt, open conversations. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based on your personality and experience up to now. And I'm oh, sorry. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak the truth and listen. Most definitely, I agree with that message. Prosperity message. You are willing to do whatever it takes to experience the prosperous life you, de prosperous life you desire. If you want to be an artist, do you think do you make your art a priority? If you want to be a healer, do you set time aside to learn new things to help you serve? A writer must write and a singer must sing. Being true to your calling, calling is, is essential to your moving forward. There is another oracle message here too. It's time to have a look at the real honest truth about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about prosperity, about your relationship to money, to compensation, and to meaningful work. Ask yourself, what is true for me? And you will find the key to abundance. Protection message. Where are you being dishonest with yourself or others? If you're unhappy in any area of your life, look for signs of denial. This can also pertain to other, this can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from another uh, or acting from hidden agendas. Now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms. Ask the truth, even if you don't like what you hear. Acknowledgement, it will be 